Hey guys, what's happening? Listen, I don't normally do this. Um, but I'm going to do a follow-up video regarding a video I posted last night, um, Coin Corners, um, the example, because I read a few comments and it may have been my fault for being misleading what I was doing. But some of the comments that I read are way off the mark, okay? And it's quite scary to think um, they must have missed that day off Brickland School when they was teaching him. Right, let me show you. The, the, the spec on these Coin Corners, right? is 440 okay in ideal world there's all different queer corners there's key corners castle um, architectural it, it, the list can go on so the 440 on these coin corners so you're two bricks wide okay now obviously that's going to reverse on the back because we've had a bit of an argument about floating back so if you come around the back side here you can see the floating bats yeah it's not a problem wall tire over wall tire or mesh we didn't have mesh so we wall tied as you can see in the previous video now it's impossible to reverse that because if you've got your two stretches here it works at stretcher and your floating back okay now if i was to reverse it this side so we don't have a floating back this side we're going to have a floating back that side okay so the measurement of the coin corners was 440 it has to be there it's not a problem, it's not an issue. And too many people jumping on that bandwagon, you know, and it's quite scary to think like, well, hold on a minute. Yes, we've got a bat, but if you're coining, so if we're going two, then one and a half this side, that's a key corner. Okay, what we call a key point, what I call key point. Where I come from, where I was brought up under knowledge, the coin corners are so many different categories, you have to specify in what you're doing. It is what it is, okay? So like I said, we've gone 440, you can't reverse. We've gone above the brick and a half, and that's how she works. So, on the face side of the building, I've made sure we've worked the stretches. There's no floating bats, as you can see. But on the re flip reverse, where she's bonded correctly, you're going to have the floating bat. Now, I've taken over this job for a previous contractor. So, let's have a look at their coins. So here you go, your two stretchers return, obviously your stretcher and two bats, floating bats. Guys, it's a structural detail, it's what is on the detail, on the choice. Do you think we just turn up and just get it wrong? Come on. Um, so the reason I've done this video is because there's people learning out there. And, you know, read the comments. See, this is the rough with the smooth. It's good, the swings and roundabouts. But I've had to pour some of these because only some brick lads have come on and identify what I was doing, the rest of, I mean, some even shout out about being in the B team and they're in the A team. Like, car was nearly me car trolling last night. <laughs> it's what it got like. But anyway, um, listen, measurements are measurements. When you do your coin corners, look at the detail and find out what the measurements are, okay? And if you want to do the key print where we go two stretches and we return one and a half. So ideally this would go two stretches and then return a one and a half. So it twists as she goes up, then that's fine. But apart from that, you've got to stick to the joins and the measures of what they're doing and what the client wants, okay? And if it does work out the floating bat, you're a bricklayer, use your knowledge to get over her, okay? Like I said, if it's not mesh, put the wall ties in what I had done, okay, and bond it all over. Guys, listen, I just want to take five to explain that. Um, mainly for those who are a little bit confused coming on and probably watching and reading with different comments so listen thanks for watching again mass love loads of love for the channel and really loving it thank you